Okay, the nice thing about Vagabond is actually it's been designed to be rowed with even even though the, if the whole cockpit will be filled with water, you can still row the boat with with a very high safety. It's possible to row the boat in any kind of condition. But if you get water in the boat, it's not that that uh, it's actually quite easy to get rid of it. We've got two different drains in the boat. The first one is gravity fit, and it actually drains the the, the cockpit. The second one is a suction bay that sits in the bottom of the boat and that actually only, fun only works when you're rowing. You must be rowing at you know, at least a cruising speed in, in a boat and that will suck all the water out of the bottom. To start off with the gravity feed, uh, this hole or drain is above the water, uh, uh, water level outside the boat, the water line of the boat, uh, a couple of centimeters above it. So all water that will end up in a, in a cockpit will drain through this hole and out through these holes in the keel that you find in here, eight holes, four on each side. Um, and this is all totally by, this will happen even though the boat is not moving. Um, the other baler, the suction baler, in the bottom of the, of the footwell, this one over here, uh, you have to open, and this actually only works when you're rowing, as I said, in a cruising speed from about three knots upwards. It'll work quite well. Um, and it's actually, if, it works with Venturi effect in the bottom of the... It's got a little vent, uh, a little bit of a valve that to stop the water from rushing in when you open it. Um, very effective, but it actually sucks out every single drop of water in the boat when you're using it. And when you're not using it, just to close it. So that, that'll keep your boat dry in almost any kind of weather conditions.